Hi guys, Chris again. And on this video, I wanna talk a little bit about GPU testing. So specifically, um, what the, like, I don't know how to say this, the thresholds for a good GPU as far as like how much you have to test it to have a pretty good idea that it works. So there are some people that think that you need to run you know, eight hours of, of Fermark to know that the GPU is working for sure. I, that That's true. I mean, I don't know if it's eight hours, but many, many, many hours to know that it's running for certain. Rock solid, ironclad, for certain. However, that being said, my experience has been generally, <clears throat> if if you can get the GPU into Windows, it usually works. Um, I, I'm gonna say, man, I hate putting numbers. 90%, 95%, uh, <clears throat> it's pretty high. Um, now there are, that's not to say that there aren't glitches. I, I had it on a 30 or a 1070 Ti I bought uh, a couple of day, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, it did have an issue that allowed it to do everything except gaming. That is incredibly rare. In, in hundreds upon hundreds of GPUs I've bought just this year, that's happened once, okay? I'm not saying it's not a risk, I'm saying it's an incredibly low risk based on the sample size. Now, <clears throat> I would say if you can get into, if, if you can get it into Windows and you can get something like a full run of 3D Mark out of it, or maybe I don't know, a few minutes of something like Fermark, 99.9% um, that the GPU is good. It is very, 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 very rare to encounter issues with GPUs that do not manifest pretty much, I mean, pretty much, if nothing else, they will almost always manifest upon initial running of any 3D content. There, there are rare occasions where a GPU will get past 2D, but to get past 3D content and like say an hour, two hours in and then have issues, it is incredibly rare. And it's, it's probably, it's probably going to be one of those luck of the draw things that you can't really test for. These are the kinds of issues that are really a nightmare and are almost impossible to test for, and it is unfortunate, but that is where your risk truly is, in my opinion. Uh, but I believe it's a tiny risk. It's a very, very small risk, in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys find this information useful, and thanks for watching.